All right, let's look at this next example. It says, suppose that the sound at a rock concert measures 124 decibels. We want to use the formula L equals 10 times log of I over I naught to find the intensity of sound I. The variable L represents the loudness, and I naught is 10 raised to the negative 12. All right, so that's a lot. First of all, what kind of equation or what kind of function is this formula? It's a log. All right, so let's start thinking about how we would go about solving for, uh, for variables with a log function. We may want to rewrite in exponential form, but we'll get there. Okay. So it says we want to, it says suppose the sound at a rock concert is 124 decibels. Well, what in this formula represents decibels? It says L represents the loudness in decibels. So L is our 124. All right, we don't know what I is, but we do know I naught is 10 to the negative 12. And so we want to find the intensity of sound I, so we're solving for I. What do we notice about the location of I? I is inside of our log. That means we need to solve so we can get inside of our log function. But before we do that, we need to isolate our log, so get log by itself. So for that, I need to divide both sides by 10. All right, so I've divided both sides by 10. I got 12.4 on one side. We have a log on the other side. We want to get to this I, get the I by itself. All right, so what's our go-to method? Well, writing it in log form. I mean, sorry, writing it in exponential form. We have a log, so we gotta use exponentials. When we have exponentials, we gotta use logs. All right, so remember, whenever logs by itself, the base is 10, so can we rewrite this in exponential form? The answer should be yes. Okay, so 10 to the 12.4 should be i divided by 10 to the negative 12. We're trying to solve for i, we can do that. All right, so we got 10 to the 12.4 times 10 to the negative 12. When we're multiplying two exponents with the same base, what do we do about their powers? We add them together. So we need 12.4 minus 12, so that's 10 to the 0.4, which is about 2.5, whatever these units mean. <laughs> All right, so we solve for i. and we had to use exponentials to do it. All right, so then part B, it says if the threshold at which the sound becomes painful is one, so threshold, remember what's supposed to represent the threshold um, in uh, W over meter squared, so think about that. Um, will the music at this concert be physically painful? All right, well, what did we find? We found the threshold here, 2.5, um, and it says if it becomes painful at one, but ours is 2.5, will the concert be physically hurtful? Yes, ours is way higher than that. Yes, too painful because I is 2.5, way more than the threshold for pain. Okay, so this is always gonna be the technique. Whenever you have logs, you're gonna to have to use exponentials to solve. Whenever you have exponentials, you're gonna to have to use logs to solve. So, 
Make sure that you can solve exponential equations, log equations, and use those in these applications that we've talked about today. All right, so if you have questions, make sure you ask me about these in class.